two, four, five. Let's paint Thunderbirds. Well, Thunderbird Four is very yellow, so this whole thing is going to be very yellow, isn't it? And I'm going to start down here, and I'm just going to leave a little bit there for kind of reflection highlighting, and probably all the way along that section there. And then along that kind of curve there, that's going to be red within that stripe. Um, so I'm going to leave a stripe of white just kind of there and there as a highlight. And also then along the top just above where it says Thunderbird Pool. And then maybe just below. And then here, round about there, I'm going to leave a stripe of white as a reflection. As a highlight, I should be saying. Uh, and I'm just kind of painting all the way around, really, now. And along this kind of edge here, I'm going to leave a bit of white there. And simply just along the front, a little bit there, just in various little places. Now I'm going to start adding a bit of yellow ochre to, to the painting here. On the kind of darker sides. Oop! On, I didn't paint that bit in there. So, and I'm going to add a touch of, touch of red. This is a vermilion-y red I have there. Um, on this kind of face, which is we'll call this the darker side. <laughs> And I'm constantly kind of dipping my brush in clean water just to thin down and play with the colour and move it about. And I have a little white leading edge to it as well. But I can give it quite a bit of... There'll be a shadow there as well probably of yellow ochre. Now these are not rules, these are not colour rules, it's just kind of my my colour palette, it's just the way I kind of see the world. Other <laughs> people might use very, very different colours to kind of get similar effects. Uh, and I don't suppose, no, well, I don't suppose anybody taught me, nobody really taught me how to do watercolours. Um, I think I just kind of worked it all out myself over the years, which I think is the story of most people. I think you pick up a few tips from here and there and you try things out. See if they work. And often they don't. <laughs> That's when you go, I shan't try that next time. So I'm trying a bit of brown in there just to give it a bit of um it's a kind of dark umber I think I'm using just to give a bit of shadow and a bit of depth to it as well really. And also Thunderbird 4 has a slightly kind of careworn <laughs> look about it as well. As you would do being under the sea so much, I think. Yeah. Now I'm just adding a bit of kind of neutral tone in there and in here as well. And also in the window here. And I'm just going to roughly paint in these bits of kelpie kind of green stuff and next we need these red bands coming across here and again I'm going to leave that little hint of highlight there we've got some there this will be coming around and again I'll leave that little space there for the highlight and do the space there highlight there and a bit of highlight oh no I missed that <laughs> don't worry if you miss things it'll all look right in the end because you're the artist, you see all the tiny, tiny, tiny mistakes that no one is ever going to know is there. So, unless you've made a really big mistake, don't worry too much. Just keep going. Now I'm putting a darker kind of crimson in there. <coughs> Thank you. 
and these kind of veins on the end they're yellow too but they're quite dirty so I'm going to again put a bit of bit of brown you can hardly see it but I am <laughs> and again these air intake things I'm just adding a bit of neutral tint in there neutral tint is a kind of it's what I use for black but it's not it's a kind of a bluey dark bluey gray kind of looking good now I'm going to switch to a bigger brush and I'm just going to pile in a ton of uh, which one's that? Which one's which here? Well, this is kind of, I don't know, I don't know which blue I've got, uh, but I'm going to add a bit of neutral tint to it just to make it a bit darker and more of a kind of Prussian blue. And then I'm just going to kind of splash it in. Just to kind of really highlight the yellowness, basically. And when you're doing a bigger area then you can use a bigger brush and it fills it in a lot more quickly but then it's not quite so accurate in the little spaces <laughs> so you have to be a bit more careful mm, i'm just going to take that around to about there make sure i've got that bit in there while i'm at the same color strength and then i'm just going to start adding clear water in there and, and make it fade upwards so I'm doing all these little areas at the same time so that I kind of maintain the same color levels um, and I'm just kind of adding clear water as oh, not there <laughs> I'm trying to keep trying to keep the kind of the leading edge of the color wet is the secret because then it will just keep blending once it dries you'll get a, a line so keep working at it, keep working at it. And you have to work fast, but as I said with a larger brush, as you work fast, then of course you start getting less accurate. Some people have a much more sweeping, I can, you can see I'm in a kind of panic style, I'm not really. Some people have a much more calm, relaxed kind of sweeping style. <laughs> and <laughs> I envy them for it. But the strange thing is you meet somebody with a lovely relaxed painting style and they see you doing this slapdash bish bosh kind of painting and they, they're envious of you so no one is ever happy. <laughs> and I think I want this to be a little darker underneath so I'm just going to add in more neutral tint. As you can see it's a lot darker isn't it? I want it to be much more standing out and yes I haven't stretched the paper or rather no I haven't stretched the paper and yes it is getting very wrinkly and crinkly but I'm not too bothered about that it kind of looks okay in the camera and I'm not intending to put it in a picture frame and sell it or anything like that so uh, it's just to show you how to paint it. There we go. I'm just going to add in a tiny bit more on there. And there. And there. And there. <laughs> there you are, how to paint Thunderbird 4. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, why not go and learn how to draw Thunderbird 3 and paint it too. <laughs> oh, just try the mystery drawing. You can also see uh, my whole collection of Thunderbird videos on the playlist as well. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel for more drawing videos every week. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.